rods. Well today I'm going to be working on the top and it is a little cold outside but I've been disassembling it. This is the weather stripping. It looks really good. I just painted it and uh, we're going to be taking it off, getting it prepped. If you remember I bought this top for 500 bucks and it did have some minor damage on the rear corners and the other sides of it. So this is the video about taking it back off, trying to get it prepped because I've got a couple of days where it's going to be in the high 50s outside and I believe that's going to be warm enough to be able to shoot some paint on this thing if I'd hustle. So let's take a look. Good job. That was heavy. It was a lot heavier than I thought it would be. So it just broke 40 degrees and I'm freezing my butt off out here, but yeah, I'm going to try to get this thing cleaned up. I do have my Wranglers on that have flannel lining, so that's a lot warmer. It's just my ears are a little bit cold. Uh, and hopefully my pressure washer, the little electric one, didn't frozen up. So we're going to try to get this thing cleaned up. Okay, it looks a lot, lot better. There's still a couple stains on this side over here. I guess where I was sitting in that barn for so many years. Uh, my hands are frozen, I can't even feel them. <laughs> we're going to get a close-up view of this to show you what we got. And then I'm going to go try to warm my hands up before I get frostbite. Woo! <laughs> all in all, it cleaned up pretty well. Got all the trash and the nastiness off the top side of the roof. There's a couple spots on this side over here. You can see that they're stained. Uh, something sat on it for many years inside a barn where I found it. And uh, this side looks pretty decent, so I don't know if I'm going to touch it up or if I'm just going to put it on. Kind of undecided at this point, but I am going to let it dry out uh, and get my hands warm. Holy moly. Okay, I went ahead and removed the rear window and the weather stripping, um, strut rods, everything. Unhooked the windshield washer. And I tried some white paint here, some gloss um, ultra, and it looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and paint this with the gloss. Uh, it'll wipe off easier, stay cleaner. It's covering up all those stains. Pretty close to the uh, original. Uh, I don't mind having a little bit more light reflection. You'll get more light with the with the uh, gloss. So I'll be painting this tomorrow when it warms up. It's down to about 38 degrees out here, and it is cold. And then we can go ahead and start. I'm hoping to go ahead and be able to shoot the exterior of it tomorrow. If it gets up to about 55, I should be able to paint some color on this thing. So. Awesome. I'll have to put a fork in it for tonight though because it's just getting too cold and the paint won't dry. And you can tell that here it had some really nasty old uh, window tint that's kind of turned pinkish. So I'm just going to shoot it, take a razor blade, clean it all up after that. It'll get all that off. Alright, so we're out in the garage. I'm going to move it out to the driveway, but it turned out really great on the inside. That white just pops. Looks good. I used a gloss on it which is fine on the interior because it still has that texture to it. Should get good light reflection. Um, I love that. All right, so I'm going to move it out. And we've got a little bit more body work to do on the rear corners where they were messed up. All right, whoever had it before had put some fiberglass on those rear corners. They must have broke them down a little bit. So I'm going to be sanding those off. And then I'm going to just wet sand the whole thing down, get it washed, prepped, and probably shoot it tomorrow. Um, but it should look pretty good when we're done. Awesome. So everything looked good on the older pair. It looked pretty decent, except for the very bottom where it had a chip in there. So I put the tape up there and hopefully that filled it in. It looks like maybe pretty close. We'll let it dry a little bit more. It's still a little bit tacky. And then pull it off of there. All right, I'm going to let it dry up a little bit and then hopefully shoot a little primer, let that dry, maybe wet sand it today. Uh, should be ready to shoot tomorrow, fingers crossed. It's supposed to get up to about 55, so it should be warm enough to uh, do the top. It's a little cold. If I was doing the truck, I would be a little bit leery, but um, it's going to be a uh, semi-flat finish, so I think we're okay. All right, that looks really good. I think that one will fly. Uh, I've got some primer to put on it. This is how I basically did it. The bottom had some couple chips in it, so I put some tape on it and then fiberglassed it. 
Now I'll take my little grinder and grind it down about smooth and then I'll take my DA and just smooth it out all the way and uh, that should be ready to prime and shoot because I'm not going to spend all week on this thing but got most of it wet sanded down taking some of these little nibs off because I'm never going to recreate those and where I've repaired it I don't want it to be nibs and then no nibs so that should help graduate that finish and we're going to be using a satin clear over it rather than a high gloss so hopefully all that will hide um, any of those little I call them niblets. <laughs> I got this paint from TCP Global, and it's supposed to be made for the hard tops. It says uh, 98 to 2002 Chrysler Camel low gloss, mix ratio 8 to 1, no hardener, which I don't know why it would say that. Then it says must be mixed with hardener. Um, I'm sure that it needs hardener in it. But it looks like the color is just spot on when I look at it. It looks unbelievably close to the factory color. So I may not have to use the low gloss sheen that I bought. Um, I've got a satin sheen. This may flatten down where it looks good without using that. So we'll just kind of have to uh, play it by ear on that. But uh, do a little priming and then we can push you color tomorrow. Yeah. Randy's here just as I'm finishing for the day. How awesome. Yeah. Thanks for the help, buddy. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Alright, so that's it, man. I got her done. It's in primer. I'm just wait. That primer will dry overnight for sure. And then I'll just wet sand a little bit. And then tomorrow I should be able to shoot the color on it. And it should look super, super good. You can tell I got I got the back in primer where we did that little bit of fiberglass work. Um, awesome. Wow, this top just kicked my butt today. <laughs> my hands are frozen. Um, it was a little cold to uh, be doing the work. It was about 52 degrees. But... I was able to get it prepped and in primer, all the spots repaired, all the fiberglass put back in. And uh, I, you know what, I just used regular fiberglass repair and it worked just great on this. Uh, if they say you can't use it, eh, wrong, you can. On the rear, I was able to take some fiberglass cloth and go in behind and strengthen those two little corners that they had broken off so they're real sturdy. And tomorrow, all I have to do is wet sand it down a little bit where the primer is and shoot that baby and it's supposed to be 55 58 degrees tomorrow so i got my fingers crossed that we can get it go ahead and get it shot and the paint color as it dries it is kind of a real low gloss satin so i don't think i'm going to have to use a clear on it which is really super cool one step to get it on there and the color is just uh really nice it looks just like the factory one so i'm excited tomorrow we'll be finishing up i'm david from the redneck garage key turning wrenches